welcome back to Bain Farm. Uh, finally, we're gonna get to some corn. Uh, we need to feed some, or we need some to feed the cows. The cows need feed ground. Um, so we'll show you the new TR-70 gas in action, uh, getting some corn. Uh, we worked on the shifting, or, well, it's gotten looser with use. And I got over here, I got some big hills getting to this field. Uh, so I had to downshift up the hills. Here goes the head. Okay, give it some fuel. See the ruts we made last time, I have I feel like we're gonna do a little better with the combine. So let her rip. Yeah, I got some cobs. Previous owner had left the sieves a little wide open. And so I kinda had to fix that. Uh they got cobs were stuck and I was trying to close them. Oh, I was trying to check. Trying to check how open they were. Yep. 
catch our other row. That's where we got stuck tremendously picking ear for. Okay, we're in gear. Let's roll. See, I'm still doing a lot of learning on this machine. So I haven't run it much yet. Now I can kind of feel the ears go through the rotors. So I can definitely tell if it's getting there or not. And when it's shaking, that means we're getting rocks. Two, three, four. Should be in five. Have to go back and check on the cobs. I'm not really taking the proper pass here. I've got two rows from two different passes of the planter. And I'm kind of wary about speed overloading the feeder house because I was able to pop the rock trap. Clutch is sticky because it sat outside for a few weeks. I mean, that's fairly clean. I'm happy with that. I did have it die this morning. And I had it idling too slow. Okay. are coming out whole so we're not using too much rotor okay some of those are broken up but I think that came out the straw chopper looking for grain on the ground other than the ears I left back there that's gonna be a pain I have to send some like neighbor kids over who want ear corn or something come over and pick it up I left this pretty well intact you saw in the bean video we were making an utter mess yesterday we got a tenth and a half of rain to make it you know a little slimy on the very top i only was sinking in once when you saw me back there when i stopped and saw those ears you can see it see where we got bunches of shuck there's a spot where the shuck looks thin because you can see farther down where it gets better um i'm trying to decide whether these cracked cobs are because of the road or the straw chopper uh seeing zaz we're not getting a whole lot of cob pieces in in the uh, in the corn. I might go ahead and stick with how we got it. It's going well. I don't think Brad got stuck over there. I don't think he did get stuck way over here. A couple ruts to contend with. I might take a pass off of this. Yeah, we pulled out. I'll take a pass off of this right here to get us into some fresh dirt for pulling. And if anything, the compaction helps a little bit so you don't sink in so quick. And I'm trying to find, I see this pile of cord. Ah, there is a big hole there. Okay. I thought this 
screen might be a little loose, but luckily I brought duct tape. The great all ever fixing fix all. I guess I'll shut the combine off. That way, don't yell at me. So far, it stayed cool. I ran all of four whopping rows of corn, so it's not like I've gone that far. Okay. Brad's here at the gravity wagon. Hopefully, this is enough duct tape that it'll stick and stuff. I'm hoping the rock trap is a one-time fluke. And that's going to drive me nuts. Absolutely nuts. We got both screens down here. I think Dad's has got... Uh, only one of them has got a screen, maybe. Hey, we're trying to save every grain we can. It's not worth a whole lot, but you add that up. And it'll, it'll be something. Uh, I can kind of see the trail I left. Didn't see that too quickly. Okay. Hopefully that duct tape holds. If not, I'm going to have to get creative with a piece of steel there. Let's see if that holds. Whew. Yep. Brad's here at the gravity wagon. Brought his truck. I don't know. Dad left me a gravity wagon. He took beans. That way we'd have a bunch of empty wagons for that field of beans we got left to deal with. Hopefully tomorrow. Okay. Let's fire this buggy up yet again. Turn the key, press the button. Okay, okay, I didn't crank it long enough. And the starter, it's got a bad habit of not engaging squarely with the ring gear on the flywheel. Oh, don't tell me I got Oh, come on. This is driving me nuts. Come on, choke or no choke, you're hot. Okay. I'm still getting to understand gas engines. And I guess you gotta give it a little bit of throttle to get it started maybe, I don't know. I shut it off hot so the carburetor will evaporate the gas with or without it running. Okay. Close one or something. Swing your partner around and round. Come on, brakes. The brakes are, uh, you gotta press them pretty far. They got a lot of travel, but they work. Woo! Okay. Here we go. I gotta reuse that rut. I'm not gonna reuse that rut. We're taking four rows.
sail ending for it. Not to mention there were too many things going on uh, because beans were just being a pain in my butt. So I'm glad Soybean Farmer likes them. If he lived closer, maybe he'd want to harvest them for me since he raises many, many soybeans in their board. So that makes me feel better. We can change the name of the cha our channel to Corn Farmer. And Soybean Farmer only does soybeans. Probably not. I think we're going to stick with what we got. But just hypothetical fun things to think about. Now coming down the pipelines, if some of you guys are part of Egg to Hey Rabbit, there goes dinner. Um, they're talking about putting a thing on YouTube to be like Instagram with their little video stories, the 30 second clips. Now part of the reason we don't, I mean we, I, we have a Facebook page. Um, and I originally started that before the channel to focus on the vegetables. So I feel like we have a totally different crowd who, who follow our Facebook page to hear about the animals and the vegetables um, and, the, and the more edible things directly to humans. So I've kind of kept those separate. Um, but it, I, I kind of lost, it got a little lackluster for me because like the, the videos are so much easier, uh, especially since I got Brad to help me like to do the editing. Okay, we made it to the end. Let's see what happens when we swing the auger out. Woo, here she comes. Watching the mirror. Come on, auger. Are you out there? There you are. Woo! Okay, let's see if I can position. Slow down, would ya? Woo! I am a little... Bit. There we go. Close enough. Now we'll slow down a little bit. Is the door closed? Worst thing to find out that the door is open. I just lost a few dollars of grain. Woo! Come on. Here it comes. Yeah! Corn! Woo! Best day of my life. Go combine, go! Get it out of there. Now this combine, compared to the other TR, has got a little bit shorter unloading auger. At least 18 inches to 2 foot shorter. Doesn't Brad look like the perfect farmer? He's got his case hat on, his sunglasses. What a boss. Now, looks like that is an empty hopper. I gotta speed it up to swing it away. Oh, wait a minute. Now, I think the valve is set up different on this one. Come on, there you go. Let's watch the mirror. Wow, touchdown. That was very smooth. Maybe a shorter auger lands easier. <coughs> the diesel TR, you can really feel it go back in. Now it's latched. Well, what do we think? Fine, I mean, I, I'll leave a track, but um, I went through the spots where you got stuck. I didn't drive through it, I stayed out of it. Just to freshen up, we would come back to pick. Seems to be doing fine, I might leave a little bit of rut, but it's going a lot better than beans, at least in this field. One guard not too buddy. Yeah. Back in the second I brought good thing I brought the duct tape. I found the clean grain auger had a hole in the far end. Oh, really? Yeah. And I found that because I stopped to check and see what things were happening out the back. I think I got the sieve set right. I don't didn't think I saw any corn coming out the back. Okay, we're taking a look see. For grain that we might have missed. It's right down the center. Okay, that cob. Hmm. That makes me think we almost have the rotors too far open. But I don't see. You now there's a couple kernels. I hadn't seen a whole lot. I'm walking down the tire track because that'll be the easiest to spot it. Everything's been mashed down before we drove over it. 
Just didn't get this guy in the head. <clears throat> it's not bad. I got one section over there where the rock trap popped open on me. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, and I was looking like there's no grain. I'm like, shit. I don't. I, I think I caught it soon enough that maybe it's only. Uh, there's no good visuals. It's only from me to about there, I think, is how far we could come back and pick up a bunch of ears off the ground over there. Because I was looking at the grain tag, nothing's coming in, nothing's coming in. Why? I didn't plug the combine. I don't hear any ratchets. You'd hear the clutches slipping. It'd be <laughs> deathly grinding noise. So. Okay. And then there, was there any place over there that I should make a pass? That you were getting stuck. Just where we were picking, cleaning it up so that we don't have a bunch of ruts to get started with. They're starting in hopefully flat ground. Pretty much every, all of them had ruts in them except for the, the, the far ends. Okay, now so. Too. All over there? Yep. Oh, okay. All of them except the last and the end. Okay. Now clean it up.